Hey everyone, Cool Man One here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Space Jam: A New Legacy and why I think it's a great movie. So, um, before I stop, before I start talking about this movie, I just gotta say that um, I know I was gonna make this video yesterday, but um, I couldn't because, well, um. I only had time to make um, the Luca video yesterday because after that I was busy so I couldn't make this one. So sometimes I might not have time and, and I'll just delay my, my video. I'll just delay my video for the next day or whenever I, whenever I have time. So yeah. Um, so I didn't have time to make this yesterday, which is why I'm doing it today, or right now. <laughs> so, yeah. And, um, okay, so, um, this is another movie. This is another movie that I saw, uh, that I watched in the summer. Um, I think I watched this after Luca. Because I, I watched both uh, Space Jam 2, which I'm talking about right now, and Luca. I saw both of those during the summer. I think I watched this one after... Uh, I think I watched this one after Luca. Um, I think so. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, and... Um, I'm I'm just gonna say what I normally say in these videos, which is um if you haven't watched this movie and uh you wanna watch it but you haven't watched it yet, um make sure you go watch the movie first before watching this video because this video contains spoilers for the movie. So yeah, anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about Space Jam 2 a new legacy. So, um, Space Jam 2, A New Legacy. Great movie. <laughs> I say this all the time in these, in these videos, but, um, you guys, you guys already know what I'm gonna say. It's a great movie. And, um, it was way better than the first one. The first one was good. Really good. Um, especially since it started this franchise, but, um, this movie just feels way better than the first one, because it's a little more upgraded. Like, um, we, we got from, from, we got from Michael Jordan to LeBron James, and, uh, we got from regular basketball in, in the movie. In the first one, they played regular basketball, regular traditional basketball. But in the second one, they went from playing a regular basketball to upgrading it and playing basketball inside a video game. Yup. Um, and uh, if you haven't watched the, the movie... And if there is a, a chance you haven't watched the trailer, <laughs> which you probably have if you're excited for this movie. But um, if you haven't watched either, um, then you probably, you're probably thinking, what? A video game? This is basketball. This is cartoons playing basketball. Um, well, you'll understand why in a minute. But first, um, let's talk about the characters. So, in this poster, we have, um, all the Looney Tunes. And, um, some of, some of their names I might not remember. Um, because I don't watch the Looney Tunes too much. I only watch Space Jam. Um, but, um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, first up, we have... Bugs Bunny himself. We have Lola Bunny. We have um, up here Tasmanian Devil. Uh, here we have Tweety Bird. Uh, here we have um, Daffy Duck, Speedy Gonzalez, 
and um uh, and uh see sometimes I forget their names because I don't watch the Lintons too much. Um I forgot his name. I, I might remember. I might remember it later. <laughs> um, but yeah, and uh, of course we have other characters, but there we have other characters that are in this movie that are not in this poster. Um, like uh, a couple of other Looney Tunes, and uh, mind you that in this movie we have new Looney, we have new Looney Tunes. We, we have some that were in the first one, um, which if you watch the first Space Jam, uh, you probably know what these Looney Tunes are that, are, that came back in the second one. <laughs> and uh, we, have some new Looney, we have some new Looney Tunes that weren't in the first one that, they, that we got a chance to see in the sequel. So, yeah. So, um... And we also have um, LeBron James' son, and uh, we have new villain. We have new villains too. Like in the first movie, we got um, we got those little alien guys who actually got a cameo in in the in Space Jam Two. Um, but in in this one, the main villains are are new villains that weren't in the first one that we got for the second one. So yeah, new villains, new characters, new 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 Looney Tunes, um, a new way of playing basketball. There's a lot of new stuff in this movie that wasn't in the in, in the first one. So yeah, um, and uh, if you want to know more about the other characters in this movie that are not in this poster, um, then uh, maybe you should um. You you should watch this movie, um, when you can. Um, I recommend you watch this movie, because um, just like Luca, this was really good. <laughs> I really enjoyed this one better than the first one, and um, um, when you guys get a chance to watch it, I hope you like it, cause I did. <laughs> so, yeah. Now let's talk about the plot of this movie. So, um, so, um, the movie starts off with, um, well, this is what I remember, this is what I remember. So, the movie starts off with, um, with LeBron James' son. Um, okay, so in this movie, LeBron James' son it, 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 like at the beginning he's nothing like his father um his father is uh, wants him to play basketball but um but his son lebron james son want, uh, wants to play video games and and create video games so um so um that's how you know that, like, at the beginning, they, they don't have anything in common, because LeBron wants to play basketball, wants his son to play basketball, but his son wants to do something totally different. But that's only in most of the movie. You'll see what happens at the end. So, um, so that, that's where, that's where we get to... LeBron, um, like being worried about his son because he he wants his son to to be like him. Uh, but his son wants to do something different, so that's the problem. They don't have anything in common at the beginning. Um, well, sort of. Um, because later in the movie we get to a scene where where LeBron James' son creates a basketball video game and uh and um any and his father is right there um supporting him um and um and yeah and he shows them how to play the basketball video game that he created 
So, uh, his son is a video game designer. That's cool. Um, so, um, so, later in the movie, um, later in the movie, we, we get to a part where, where LeBron gets stuck in, in Toon World, and, uh, and that's where he meets Bugs, Bugs Bunny, and, um, somehow, uh, Bugs Bunny already knows who he is, um, but I don't think they've met before. I guess Bugs already knows, uh, the names of basketball players, because he's already been with with Michael Jordan before, so he already you know he already knows basketball players. That's probably how he already recognizes LeBron James. <laughs> so um so he's like, What brings you to Toon World, Doc? <laughs> he calls everyone Doc every time because he goes, Eh, hey, what's up, Doc? <laughs> um so he he asks um, LeBron, what he's doing in Toon World, and, um, LeBron has, uh, uh, when LeBron came into Toon World, he had no idea that, uh, like, what was happening, he, it, he, he looked around, and he was like, where am I, and then he looked at himself, and he was like, ah, I'm a cartoon, <laughs> um, so, and then, and then after that, he, he met, uh, Bugs Bunny, and um, and then Bugs told him how he's the only one left in Toon World because his friends, the other Toons, the other the other Looney Tunes, they they left to do their own things. Um, after a while, like after they like that was I think that was years after they played basketball with uh, Michael Jordan. Um, I, after a while, the other Looney Tunes just had things to do, like, different things to do, and, and Bugs just stayed all by himself in Toon World. So, um, he started, um, so, oh, and also LeBron's son, um, got kidnapped by one of the, the main villain of this movie and um, more about I'll talk about more about him later so um, LeBron tells uh, Bugs how his son got kidnapped and that he needs to go save him and then he's like okay I'll help you because <laughs> he, he's basically all by himself in two worlds so yeah <laughs> And uh, he's happy to play basketball again. So, um, in order to save his son, he has to win in a game of basketball in inside the video game that his son created. So, um, so, so Bugs agrees to help LeBron, but first they had to find all all the other tunes. And, uh, they did. And, uh, and then they, they all started planning. They all started coming up with a plan to, to play basketball. And, and after, and they have to focus on winning. So when they win, they, they get LeBron's son back. So, um, oh, and also, um, this isn't just a Space Jam sequel. This is also the the Warner Bros. This is basically, and this is what I'm going to call it. Um, this is basically the Warner Bros. Cinematic Universe. Because um, there's so many Warner Bros. characters in this movie. And um, if you watch the movie, you'll see that... Well, in the first movie, we had... Um, a huge crowd of people watching the game with the Looney Tunes and and Michael Jordan but in this movie the the crowd is actually a lot of a whole bunch 
of Warner Bros. characters. Like uh, Scooby-Doo, um, King Kong, Iron Giant, etc. <laughs> um, also Batman and a bunch of other Warner Bros. properties. Um, so yeah, this was basically not just a Space Jam sequel, but also the Warner Bros. Cinematic Universe, which is what I'm calling it. So yeah. And I was really happy to see all those Easter eggs of a bunch of Warner Bros. characters. And, um, yeah, I, I think that was the first time a, a whole bunch of Warner Bros. characters crossed over. Because they were all, they were all Easter eggs in the movie. So, yeah. So, um... So, um... LeBron and the Toons wanted to get, um, they wanted to get, like, a crowd to watch the game, so, so that's where, where a whole bunch of Warner Bros. characters came in, like the ones that I mentioned. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, so, um, and meanwhile, meanwhile, the villain of the movie, um, and also the villain of the movie is played by um he's played by Don Cheadle who who played War Machine in in Mar in Marvel. So yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh but we also have a uh, a new team called the the Goon Squad. So they got from we we got from the the little aliens whose name I whose names I can't remember right now to a new team called a new team of villains called the Goon Squad. So yeah. <laughs> um so um so meanwhile LeBron LeBron's son was spending time with um the villain um, and he had no idea that he was bad. Um, he, he just thought he was good because, um, because unlike his father, um, his father, LeBron wanted his son to play basketball. He didn't let him do what he likes. He didn't let him, um, I mean, he, he respected it, um, after a while. But before, he he wanted him to spend more time playing basketball instead of coding video games and stuff. So, uh, but um, the villain uh, wanted to uh, to win. He wanted to defeat um, his his father and the tunes. But at the same time, he was also being nice to LeBron's son. Um, so he can get him on his team and then. Yeah, and he made him, um, he magically made him a better basketball player with, um, I don't know, a machine that was in the video game or something. So he went inside, um, I think he went inside a machine and it made him, uh, he gave him, um, the skills of basketball players. And, uh, oh, and, uh, Le when LeBron's son was coding the game, he created uh, some characters in the game uh, based on real basketball players, I think. And um, those characters um, turned evil and came to life, and that's how they became the Goon, the goon Squad. I think that's how it went down. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, LeBron's son got basketball players playing skills and uh he became a member of the goon squad not knowing that they were the bad side um he thought that um that they were that he was on the good side um but uh he he didn't know that they were the bad guys so uh he just joined um the villain he just joined the goon squad because um the bad guy uh, whose name I can't remember, he, he, 
uh, actually um, respects what LeBron's son likes. He he respects that he likes coding video games. Um, but at the same time, he also wants him to join the, the team to play basketball. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so he joins the goon squad and, um, and, um, and yeah, and then the, the, the Looney Tunes start playing basketball again, but this time with LeBron James. So, yeah. So then, um, so then, um, so then we, we get to the, you know what, I'm just gonna skip it. So, um, we get to the part where, um, where we have the tunes that we've seen before and we have new Looney Tunes. So, yeah. And, um, they're all ready to play basketball, and so is LeBron. Um, so they they start playing with the goon squad. Oh, and also, um, everyone who who watches the game, um, from from Earth, because LeBron and the Toons are stuck in a video game. While everyone else, all the other people, are back in Earth, uh, back in the in the regular world, and then when when and then the the game between um LeBron and the Toons and the Goon Squad, it it's on their phone, um. So every time someone looks on their phone to watch the game, they actually get teleported to the game, so it's not just all those Warner Bros. characters, but also, um, but also everyone who, who watched the game on their phone. They get teleported in the game to watch the game, in, in, in the, in the game. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and including LeBron's family too. And then Le LeBron finds out that he has to go up against his own son, and he doesn't want to, but um, he he has to. Um, so they so they start the first they start the first game, but um, but then um, on the first round. Um, LeBron and the Toons lose because uh, the goons, the goon squad is really good. <laughs> um, so yeah, they they lose, but then they, but then they they on the next round. Oh, and um, something good that happens is that um. LeBron's son is with the goon squad at the beginning, but then um, he he decides to to join his dad's he decides to join with his dad and the tunes because he finds out that they're that they're playing unfairly. They're, the goons are are not aren't playing fair. So he's like, you know what? Um, you don't treat me very fairly, and we're not playing very fair. So. I'm just gonna join with my dad. <laughs> so, yeah. And then he, his son, LeBron's son, meets the Toons, and uh, we have a nice scene with LeBron and and his son hugging. And and then uh, LeBron's son is part of the the Toon Squad. So um, so that's um. Uh, that's one team member down for the goon, the goon squad. So um, on the next round, um, so the this is how the goon squad is winning. They they keep cheating, and they keep playing unfairly. So um, 
and there's no rules that say that the other team can cheat too. So uh, the Toon Squad cheat too, and then they end up they end up winning. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, you'll see how when you watch the movie. So um, they win, uh, but the sad part is that um, it, the sad part is that um, is that Bugs sacrifices himself to win the game, and um, and uh, he disappears, and we all thought he was gone forever, but surprise, surprise. He disappears, but he actually comes back on Earth with LeBron. So um, the Toons don't know that that he's that he's okay, but um, he he spends time on Earth with um, with LeBron. So yeah, he's still alive, but he's on Earth, and um, I I can't remember if he can go back. To Toon World with the other tunes, but um, I I know that by the end of the movie he was with LeBron, and uh, the the Goon Squad lost, and uh, yeah, um, well they always as as we always say the good guys win and the bad guys lose, the bad guys always lose so. Um, so yeah, the the Goon Squad lost. Toon Squad won. Um, Bugs is okay, and um, now um, LeBron's son at the beginning he wanted to go to uh, to somewhere where he can where he can learn how to code and create games. But then by the end of the movie, after that big basketball game that he had. He finally wants to be like his dad and play and play basketball. So he was like, um, LeBron was gonna keep the ball, but then but then his son was like, Hey, Dad, can I play basketball? Can I can I have the ball? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that made LeBron um, really happy. So yeah, um, so yeah, a good ending. And uh, yeah. We, I don't, I can't remember if we got anything from LeBron, I mean, from, from Michael Jordan in the movie. Most of it was, I mean, almost all of it was just with LeBron. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, that was Space Jam 2, A New Legacy. And, um, I gotta say, it was, it was way more fun than the first one. And, uh, and it was totally different but it was really really good <laughs> and um when you guys watch it let me know if you liked it as much as i did because i i definitely liked it so yeah also later today i'm gonna make a short about something else that i'm really excited to make a video about and uh it's a short it's not, it's not um a long video like this one but um, still, I'm really excited to make a video about that. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all for this video. And as always, stay cool.